Hello, Kiss Me Cake here again. Today, luster with stencils. These are the stencils so that you can pop them over onto your cakes. And rainbow dust. I don't know if you can see that one. This is a really nice, rich colour. I'll just roll this out. I also prepared a couple of moulds the crowns and some crosses that I got from the show yesterday at Telford but I'll just show you how to luster those as well It'll make life a bit easier this is just for a demo for you okay that's rolled uh, I think we'll do that one, I like that one best what you need to do is, is just lightly roll your rolling pin over your mould, well not your mould, the stencil, Sunday afternoon, excuse me, leave it like that. Now, the best bit is, let's make your lust powder. Slide that up. Port Marion Botanics. Okay, I'm just going to get a small amount. And put it on the plate. Now you can either dry dust it on, which is quite easy to do. Mind you, I'm saying that, I think we'll dry dust it. We can do it with alcohol, make it into a liquid. But I'll tell you what, we'll bypass the gin. If you think I'm not kidding, the vanilla gin. Whew. Whew. Well, I've learned something new as well as teaching you guys. You just. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm going to be doing this again. You can see a new range of cakes. Kiss me cake glazed. Whoa. Posh kiss me cakes. I see. If you look, see, we've got them lighter or darker, but the amount that you put on is how strong it comes. You saw how much I got out, just a, a little tiddly. And this is just a, one of those packs of 99p brushes from the 99p shop. By rolling it down, it gives it so you get that raised effect. It's quite easy. I suppose I'm going to get some cakes to stick these on. You'll notice that it's nice and quiet in the Kiss Me Cake household. Cricket's on for Mr. KMC. The dogs are asleep on him. Hannah Montana has got the youngest and the eldest one is somewhere on the computer upstairs. Right, you see, that's that done. Just gently. Lift it up and off. You'll hear ping, ping, ping. How smart's that? Got a cake cutter somewhere. I'll do that a big round one two shouldn't worry about this lot because if you wanted to if you wanted to you could pre-cut it and then uh, decorate it this one Two. Go grab a cake. As a 
coming, can you hear me? Oh, there we go, I'm back. Right, these are those new cake cases from the Telford Cake Show. I should have frosting or jam or something on, but I've been idle. On top of the cake. Posh or what? Stick those there. Now, I got the crowns. I made a couple earlier. I'll just do this one. I'll do this in the same. Format. The only colour that I'd got done ready was uh, green. It was got tylo in in my pot. I've seen that I'm only playing. May as well just use this. As you see, a little bit has gone a whole long way. cross as well. Because also when you lustre, this is just lustring with the powder, it picks out the detail that you would inevitably miss. Can you tell I'm doing this quick? So when you're doing it at home, you say, oh, kiss me cake, she did it like that. You don't have to always do it like me. I just sort of give you the the base, the basics. And then how you take it and you refine it to how you like. Okay, that's that one. Tell you what, I will do one with a bit of gin. A little bit of powder. I say this is the rainbow dust lustre powders. Very, very good. I'm just gonna. Ooh. Can you smell that? Vanilla gin. Look. Ooh. Right. Small amount. It's a she. Makes it a little luster so you can paint it. Put a bit more in now. Using palette. And don't worry about using this on cakes, especially if you're going to have kids eating them, because the alcohol evaporates, so you're not going to get kids getting drunk on cakes. Honest. If you see that, it looks so rich. Right. Another crown while we're at it. Okay. This is definitely stronger because it's in the liquid form. Getting the little nooks and crannies. 